Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over how you might go about creating this uh, two-column layout. Okay, so I'm here in Glyphy, which is a web-based design uh, utility. And I've kind of sketched out a basic two-column layout that is pretty common. We've got our sidebar over here along the left side, and then we've got a header, main content, and a footer section. And there's obviously a number of little variations we can make out of this. But I'd like to go ahead and create this with HTML and CSS. So I'm going to jump over to my uh, editor. And I've already got a, a little bit set up here. I do have my, my parent wrapper. Let me go ahead and uh, zoom in on this so it's nice and clear for you. So I've got my uh, my opening and closing div for my outer wrapper. That's my main body, my main container. I do have a, a generic reset rule, and I've set a uh, some dimensions for my wrapper. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this so uh, to 960 pixels. And basically that implies that I'm doing a fixed width orientation, a fixed width layout, and my margin is zero pix auto for that wrapper, which means it's going to center horizontally on the page. So let's get to work here. Now based on this design, I clearly have a sidebar, header, content, footer. So I'm going to go ahead and create those three sections in that particular order. Depending on the layout, it can affect the order of your HTML, so it does matter sometimes. But for this one, I'm going to have a sidebar. Actually, let me just, yeah, I'll just type them up here. And I'll use a header for this one. My main content and my footer. Now you'll notice I'm not using uh, some section tags here. And I'm not opposed to using section tags and in fact it's certainly reasonable to do one here for main content um, section for my main content instead of div I don't know if I really like the idea of using one for my sidebar though I suppose you could consider that a, uh, a key section of your web page but I like using the section when it has a very specific purpose for the page. It's very, it's really descriptive of what it is. This is a key section, so I'm not even that sold on using it for my main content area. But no one's gonna, you know, come knocking down your door if you do use it. So just so you know, it's it's out there and it's for you. I like to use section tags when it's a very well defined purpose or part of the web page. For instance. Um, Let's say I'm doing an article and there's a section which always contains photographs or contact information for the author or something like that. But otherwise, um, divs are still great and they're uniquely identified. So let's go ahead and knock this out here. My first thing I'm going to do is control my sidebar. And I'm going to go ahead and set a few basic characteristics. I'm going to put a background color on it just so we can see it. And I'll just use good old red. I'm going to set a width for this sidebar of about 180 pixels. And I'm going to set a min height of um, 600 pixels. Oops, and very, very important, I can't forget this. I'm going to float it to the left because I want this sidebar to be on the left side. And then I'm going to go ahead and take care of the rules for my header, main content, and footer. Now my header, uh, I'll do a min height on this one. 80 pixels, little background color so we can see it. Green, and I'm gonna do a margin left of 180 pixels, which is, of course, the width of my sidebar. And because I like what I've got here, I'm going to go ahead and do this for my other two key sections. Of course, we've got the main content area. I'll do a min height of 420, different color, blue. And then, of course, we have our footer. I'll do a min height of 100 and pink. And just these few changes here are going to get us to a layout that goes along with the plan. Got our sidebar along the left, header, main content, and footer. 
So as you can see, it's really not that tough getting this stuff organized. Real critical piece, of course, was making sure that my sidebar was first, and then I had my other three parts. And of course, my sidebar is set to float to the left. And naturally, if something floats to the left, the other elements will slide up along the right. So there's your basic two column layout with header, main content, and footer. Now just so you can see that you can easily make some variations, what if our sidebar only went this far and our footer went all the way down here? Well, this isn't too bad. We just head back over to the old code editor, go to that footer, and let's make sure that it clears any previously floating left object. And of course, I no longer need that margin left on there. I'm going to add 100 pixels of height to my main content so it stretches all the way down. But just that little change there gets us to a footer beneath. So practice this a bit. You know, it's going to come up more often. And of course, um, the more you type it, the easier it's going to get. Now, this is a little bit misleading because clearly I've got no content in here. So you know, with content and the height stretch, it can get a little bit trickier. But go ahead and start working on these foundations and just do them over and over again until they're super comfortable.